Okay, so now we're going to do a log equation. This time we have a minus. So the minus is different because that causes us to have to use a different rule when we combine these together into a single log. So the idea is still, you still want to combine this together and get a single log, but the minus sign means that we'll have a division instead of multiplication. Okay, so we have, when you do that, log two, the first one's going to go on top. I'll have x plus three. The bottom one's going to be x plus five. That's going to equal one. So again, all I did was I put the first one on top, second one on the bottom, because the minus sign, we need to do division. That's rule number seven with the log properties. We need to change this from log form into exponential form. The two, we're going to raise that to the first power, the base raised to the number after the equal sign. That's going to equal x plus three over x plus five. Then I have a one uh, down below here. So really, two to the first power essentially is just going to be uh, two. So again, uh, anything raised to the first power would be itself. When you're at this step, you're going to either multiply both sides by the LCD by least common denominator, or you can cross multiply. If we cross multiply, we'd have two times x plus five is gonna equal one times x plus three. We're gonna multiply this out and we wanna solve this for x. Two x plus 10 equals x plus three. We need to solve this for x, so we're going to subtract x from both sides. We get x plus 10 equals three then subtract 10 from both sides, and we get x is equal to negative 7. We've got to put negative 7 back into the original one. And what we notice is we've put negative 7 into the original one, we get a negative number. So therefore, because we get a negative number inside the law, because negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4, that doesn't work. Can't take log of a negative number. That means that this answer gets crossed out. Well, then what are, we, what are we going to put for our answer? Well, the only answer we had was negative 7. So if that only answer doesn't work, that means the whole thing is going to have to be no solution. So I'm going to put no solution for this whole entire problem because the only answer we got, that didn't work with the domain with the original one. That's your answer. Okay, we're solving another one. We have a plus sign right here. So what we need to do is we need to get all the logs on one side of the equation. So we're going to move this log across the equal sign. It's going to change and become negative. So you have log 3, x plus 1. We're subtracting this log, bringing it over. We have minus log 3, 2x minus 1. That's going to equal uh, 2. So again, that's going to change signs because we brought it across the equal sign. Now that we have that, you're going to combine these two logs together into a single one. So because we got the minus sign in here, once again, it's going to be another one that's going to turn into a quotient. So we're going to put the first uh, one on top. Then we have 2x minus 1 is going to go on the bottom that's still going to equal uh, 2. So we want to change this from log form into exponential. We take the base raised to the number after the equal sign, be 3 squared, is going to equal x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. Now this, 3 squared, make sure you don't accidentally put 6, it's going to be 9. 3 squared is 9, that's x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. And we have a 1 in the bottom there, we're going to cross multiply. Or again, you can multiply by LCD. If you want to multiply by 2x minus 1, that's okay as well. So we're going to uh, cross multiply. 9 times 2x minus 1 is going to equal uh, 1 times x plus 1. So again, we cross multiply those and we got that. You're going to want to distribute the 9, multiply that through because we need to solve this for x. 18x minus 9 is going to equal x plus 1. You're going to add 9 to both sides. So 18x is going to equal uh, x plus 10. And then you're going to subtract x from both sides. You get 17x equals 10. Divide both sides by 17. You're going to get 10 17 as your answer. Now if you were to put that into a calculator, that would be approximately equal to uh, 0 0.6. Now 0 0.6, you can estimate it with the original one. We want to know what that decimal is because we need to know whether 10 17 actually works or not. So if you put 0 0.6 in here, 0 0.6 plus 1, that's a positive number. 0.6, 2 times 0.6 would be 1.2 minus 1. That gives you a positive number also. So that means that this answer would work. So our, our single answer, we have one answer only in this one. Fractions are allowed on these kind of problems. You would get 10 17ths.